wake up, post up, round round in it, lossin' on it. Don't we all wish that we can wake up every day with our face on? I know I do. Too bad we can't. In this video, guys, I will be showing you my foundation routine for oily skin. So what I'm doing here is just taking my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes and just removing any oils that I have on my skin. You do want to do this. It's super important to make sure uh, that your makeup does stay on long. And you want to remove any oils that are on your face before you apply any products. All right guys, next I'm going in with the Mario Badescu Rose Water to set your makeup. I am obsessed with this product and it's for any skin type. I love to use this product because it's a refreshing and hydrating mist. I love to spray this before my makeup and as well, I love it because it helps last uh, my makeup a little bit longer and it helps plump my skin and feel refreshed and hydrated before any heavy products go onto my skin. And then next, I'm going to be using Clinique's um, Moisturizing Lotion before my makeup as well. Next, I'm going in with my primer, guys. I'm using the Cover FX Matte and Fine Primer for oily skin and for acne pro skin. It's a super lightweight primer, which I love, and it also helps your foundation look even more flawless. So girls, do not forget to prime. It's super, super important. Yay, now time for my favorite part, guys, is applying foundation, which is the whole purpose of this video, right? <laughs> so I'm going in with Estee Lauder's Double Wear Foundation, and it's amazing, you guys, for oily skin types. I have used so many foundations. I've, you know, tried so many samples. I've tried high-end foundations, and I have not found one that has, you know, that has complete me. <laughs> so this one has definitely been my number one for my skin. Um, so all I'm doing here guys is I like to work my foundation within my skin So I like to press it and really work with it. I don't like to just slap it on in um, One minute two minute application like I love to sit there and like really buff it into my skin and making sure that there are no lines of demarcation um, I really like to just press the foundation in and it actually helps a lot you guys if you're taking those extra minutes when applying your foundation um, because it actually gives you a really nice flawless finish so I highly recommend that you guys, when you're applying um, your foundation, make sure that you're working it in, pressing it into your skin, um, and really taking that time um, applying that. That way you can, you know, have some awesome results and you will be satisfied with your makeup application. All right, guys, now I'm going in with NARS and I'm going in with light number two vanilla. And I've been obsessed with this concealer lately. Um, I have not purchased a big size. I really just wanted to play with it um, and see if I really like it. That way I can actually go out and spend the big bucks on the big one. Um, but I'm definitely gonna go out and buy it because I've been obsessed with this concealer. Um, all I'm doing here is just applying it underneath my eyes where my dark circles, um, dark circles are at, above my cupid bow, and on my chin area, as well as on my forehead and um, down the bridge of my nose. So all I'm doing here is just applying um, the concealer and this is also going to help, you know, just brighten up those areas that we want um, to come forward. And then you guys will also see in the next um, clips that are coming up next um, how beautiful this concealer does blend out. That's why I actually fell in love with it because it blends out so beautifully on the skin. And I'm going in with a Sonia Kashuk brush. Um, I believe this was a set from two years ago from her collection. I am super obsessed with this brush, you guys. As you guys can see, it, it really blends out the concealer really, really nice. I like to pat it in my skin, and it actually gives a really nice, flawless finish. I've been so obsessed with this brush. And don't worry, guys, I will link all the brushes that I did use in this video down below. So you guys can go ahead and check out the brushes. I don't know if she still has these out. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure you can check like on Amazon or like uh, um, eBay. Um, to see if you can find them or even on her website um, but I am super obsessed with this I haven't used my beauty blender in a while because I've been so obsessed with this um, I feel like the beauty blender tends to really take the product off my skin and I love how this really just pushes in the concealer really nicely onto my skin um, and leaves the product there which creates that nice flawless canvas so I just want to share this with you guys because I've been obsessed with this brush um, again I will link every, all the brushes that I did use in this video down below Thank you. 
yay time to bake guys so I'm taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm taking a cosmetic sponge and just working the powder into my skin I'm not really gonna do the baking um, for this video I will definitely do one for you guys um, but for now I'm just taking the powder just a tiny bit and I'm just working it into my skin just setting that concealer um, I love this stuff because it actually helps to brighten up those areas that we want and it really leaves a really nice smooth canvas and that's why I've been so obsessed with this powder. I have actually purchased it three times already. <laughs> so if you guys do not have this powder, you guys need it in your life and it's great for all skin types. Now I'm going in guys with um, bronzer. I'm going in with Too Faced Endless Summer um, 16 hour long wear bronzer. Now I'm taking a really nice um, fluffy brush, um, not too fluffy, but I mean just about right. <laughs> so all I'm doing is just adding the bronzer um, on my forehead, on the temples, and as well as like your, you know, quote unquote contouring. Uh, but you're really just bronzing those areas before you actually do um, go in there and contouring. So all I'm doing is just really bronzing my face, bringing that color back. Um, and we are going darker just to, you know, minimize the, um, those areas on our face to make us look slimmer. <laughs> Now it's time to contour. I'm going in with the Tartius Contour by Tarte and I'm taking a Lorac um, contouring brush and I'm going to go ahead and go in with number two, um, no I'm sorry, with number three and uh, from the palette, the contour palette and all I'm doing here is just really um, sucking in my cheekbones and just making sure that I am contouring right above the bronzer. Um, this is going to help um, in a little bit when we go back in there and blend them all together. Um, so just go ahead and the same spots that we bronzed, um, just go ahead and contour away. And again, you guys can go as dark as you wish. If you guys want a contour and highlight video um, really detailed um, for you guys, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and I will definitely do one for you guys. Alright guys, see I told you guys we'd be back with a fluffy brush. <laughs> so now take that same fluffy brush you used to bronze your skin and just go back in there and uh, make it all seamless. Blend them both together and you guys will see how a huge difference this does make. And with the same contour kit from Tarte, I'm taking the Lorac um, contouring brush that, that came in with the Lorac contour kit. Um, I don't know if they do sell it separately, you would need to probably just check Lorac.com or Ulta or Sephora. Um, but all I'm doing here is just um, contouring my nose. And now I'm taking the cosmetic sponge that we did use to bake our concealer. Um, so all I'm doing here is just um, where we did contour, you're going to go outside that line and just, you know, buff it in and making sure that there are no harsh lines and it's all seamless. That's super important because you don't want your nose to look muddy um, or see those lines. Now I'm going in guys with the Sedona Lace FB05 brush just to, you know, blend everything together and just buffing away any setting powder that we may still have on our skin. Um, so I'm just blending everything together, making everything look nice and seamless. All right guys, now I'm taking Peaches by MAC and it's a matte blush. I don't wanna use a shimmer one because I am oily and um, I do wanna apply a highlight later on. Um, so I am using a matte um, blush. You don't want too much shimmer on your face. And all I'm doing here is just applying super motions going up because I still wanna keep my face looking very slim. My facial expressions says it all <laughs> with this highlight. It's the Laura Geller um, and it's the Gilded Honey. I am so obsessed with this highlight, you guys, and I'm taking the Mario Badisco water and applying it onto the product and then taking my fluffy fan brush and applying it only above my um, cheekbones. That's the only area you want to apply a highlight. Um, obviously, on, also on the tip of your nose, that is also going to make your nose look a little bit slimmer and your Cupid's bow, and I like to put a little bit on my chin, and then whatever's remaining on my brush, I do apply it on my forehead. Um, and now, I'm going in double highlight. I'm taking the Jaclyn Hill um, and Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop, doing the same thing with the Badisco water. 
um, and just applying more highlight above the one that we just did but I'm just doing tapping motions I do love that highlight girl even though I am oily <laughs> And you can leave this look just being matte. Um, I just love my highlight and I can't go a day without it, so I have to have it. Um, but you can definitely leave it as a matte look. Um, here, you guys, I'm just adding Lolita 2 by Kat Von D, and this completes my look. I do want to thank you guys for bearing with me with this ugly hair color. My husband does call it my flame hair when it starts to come out looking like this. Um, I promise it's going to get fixed. Um, I love you guys. Thank you, you guys so much for watching my video. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!